Hey everybody, uh, I just was uh, doing a Zoom uh, lecture with my class for uh, Anatomy and Physiology 2 and we were covering the respiratory system and so it's a, a great time to teach about the respiratory system with the COVID-19 stuff going on and uh, during lab time, which was on, thir on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I was demonstrating uh, nasal irrigation and so I thought I would make another video just focused in on um, doing a demo of this, just if any of you have never done it. I think it has a lot of uh, benefits for folks, um, especially in this time when people are, um, you know, fearful of being in a public space and maybe have been exposed to um, somebody that has the virus. And so I think that this is a, a good way of um, decreasing the risk um, of exposure. And so I'm going to kind of do a little bit of an explanation of, of what it does. And I'm going to show you kind of my setup of how I do it. Um, uh, I'm here in Ezra's bathroom. Um, I have a tea kettle that I've just boiled some, some water. Now, normally I don't have a tea kettle in the bathroom, but this just works up nicely to do it because I got some area, uh, some space. Um, but you need to have um, boiling water and make sure you have a good amount of that because we're going to use some of the water to also kind of sterilize my neti pot. Okay, so over here, this is um, my neti pot. It's a kind of a porcelain one. I received it as a gift. I really like it. Although there are, are other little squeeze bottles that you can use um, that will do essentially the same thing. And um, this one uh, relies on gravity. You're just kind of pouring it in. Um, I use the Neil Med sinus rinse, which is kind of standard. Like this, you can find this everywhere, you know, Walgreens or CVS or um, Walmart. And they are these little powder packets that have uh, all the stuff that you need. It's basically salt and a little bit of bicarbonate, which serves as a buffer. And it helps to make sure that that water that goes up into your nose is gentle. Um, so um, I'm going to do a demo right now just to show you what I do. Um, each time, and uh, I'm going to set this here, and you guys can kind of check out what I do. All right, so um, every time that I, um, I do it, uh, I, obviously I, I kind of wash this with soap and water, you know, every so often, maybe one, uh, every couple of weeks, but um, before I use it, I, I use my freshly boiled water. Um, and I kind of pour some inside, rinse it around, uh, dump it out the spout, um, and then dump it out. And I also pour some on the outside of that spout just to sterilize. Now it's not a perfect technique, but boiling water tends to take care of most of the things that we're concerned with. Um, just pour some in and on that spout, and then I just kind of give it a swirl, dump it out. Now um, your neti pot should be ready to use. That is boiling water, so you have to be careful. Uh, sometimes the water can run down and like touch your hands and that will scald your skin. So do not do that. Make sure that you hold it in a way that you won't scald yourself. Okay, so please be careful. Um, once my neti pot is clean and ready to go, um, like that, um, I'm gonna use one of these little packets. Um, they are prepared for about eight ounces, okay? Um, but I'm going to give you a recipe for one if you want to just make it at home, um, a home brew. That's what I used to do a couple months ago, but then I found this on sale, so I got it. Um, so it's just a, a powder. You're going to pour that inside. Um, what I do is I take that boiling water again, pour just enough into the bottom to uh, dissolve that uh, salt solution. Okay, so there's just about this much water in the bottom. I'm just going to give it a swirl, maybe 30 seconds to help. That hot water, it makes it go right into solution. But you want to make sure all of the little granules are dissolved um, into the hot water. And you don't want too much hot water because um, otherwise if you have too much in there, you cannot provide enough cold water to really cool it down without waiting a, a long period of time. So make sure that you don't add too much hot water. It's just, for me, it's just enough to cover the bottom about maybe a centimeter, okay, deep or half an inch. Um, once I'm pretty confident that all of the uh, powder has been uh, dissolved, kind of just swish it around a little bit, I add some cold water. Fill it up to the top, pretty close to the top. 
And um, normally I have like either a clean spoon or I actually have these straws um, downstairs that I that I use to just stir the water. And there's two reasons for that. One, to mix, make sure that the warm, the hot and the cold water are mixed and also that the solution gets um, you know mixed around um, because you do want to have a, a uniform you know solution before it goes up in your nose. So um, again, the pot will be a little bit warm because you just poured boiling water on it, but once you add that cold tap water, it will cool down and you can just stick your finger in there and uh, it should be lukewarm, okay? That's the best temperature. If it's too cold, it's kind of shocking to your nose. If it's hot, obviously that's very uncomfortable. But the uh, importance is that you need to have this salt solution and a little bit of bicarbonate or a little bit of a buffer to make it nice and gentle. Some of you may not may be a little bit squeamish about this because you've gone swimming or um, and you've gotten that pool water up in your nose and that's very irritating. One, it's unbuffered, and two, it's chlorinated. Okay, so that chlorinated water, very unpleasant. So um, there's a reason why that is unpleasant. This is not like that. Okay, this is very gentle, um, and although it takes a little bit of practice to get used to. Um, it is great for relieving um, symptoms, for cold symptoms, for if you have seasonal allergies due to pollen. Um, and especially now, every time I go out to the um, grocery store uh, or out in public where I have a shared airspace where I might be walking into um, air that somebody else might be breathing, coughing, sneezing, and I might have had risk of some of those you know, respiratory droplets or, you know, molecules going up into my nose and then sticking into the mucus that's inside your nasal cavity. Um, when I get home, I'll wash my hands, prepare this, do the neti pot, nasal irrigation, and I can just have peace of mind that I've done, I think, an effective job of reducing the risk that any of those molecules are going to stay up there. Okay. Now, it's not a guarantee that they all wash out. Okay. They could still, you know, uh, stay up there. But my feeling is, is that when you're doing the nasal irrigation, you're rinsing out a large majority of that. And um, I find it very effective. If I have cold symptoms, I notice that my cold symptoms, the severity is reduced and the duration of my symptoms, I can decrease um, the number of days that I'm, I feel sick by a number of days just by doing this morning and evening. So let me show you. Um, this little tip here is going to go up into one nostril. And I'm just going to tip my head to the sides. I'm just um, uh, going to use gravity. It's going to go up one side. It's going to go back around your nasal septum um, and then come out this other nostril. Okay, here we go. You can breathe through your mouth while you're doing it. So that's one side. Now I just did it about halfway, probably a little bit more than half. And uh, just kind of lean forward at the end, let most of that drain out. You can kind of blow it out if you'd like. And then I switch sides and I do the reverse. Okay, again, the tube's going to go in this nostril, it's going to come out this one. And that just varies the flow, so you just more opportunity for stuff to get released and, and come out and then down the drain. Use a little Kleenex if you want to blow your nose and any excess fluid that's up there you can uh, get out. So that is uh, nasal irrigation. Very simple. A lot of people around uh, other parts of the world they do this every day. We talk to some of our international students and scholars and they say oh yeah we um, we do this every day. They just kind of cup some water in their hand and they just do it very simple. Okay, this is kind of a fancy process, but it makes it very, very gentle, super easy. Um, and as soon as you do it the first time, you get used to that sensation, um, which is 
um, foreign to, to most of us if you've never done it before. So highly recommend it. I think it's very, very useful, um, especially um, in this day where we have the threat of a, a, a respiratory virus going around and the site of infection is your airways. Okay, It's going to be your nasal cavity, your throat, um, and so you notice where they're doing the swabs to test, okay? They're doing uh, a swab that goes into the nose and it's going into the nasal pharynx and you're just um, checking for the presence of those viral particles that are, if they're infecting cells, they're making more viral particles and they're going to be in the mucus that's going to be up in those cavities. So that's the, des that's the location that this neti pot is meant to just rinse out, okay? So the, where that stuff is going is going to be ultimately down the sink and down into the sewer system. So hope that's helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, the recipe for doing it um, on your own, if you don't want to buy the fancy packets, which again, you can find it at Walmart, Wal Walgreens, whatever, uh, maybe even Kroger, any place that has a pharmacy, you could probably find this. It comes with a pot. It comes with these little um, packages. But if you want to make it at home, it's also... Um, pretty easy to make, okay? Eight ounces of warm water and about a one-fourth teaspoon, not tablespoon, but one-fourth teaspoon of salt, okay? Just regular uh, table salt or kosher salt, iodized salt. Uh, one-fourth teaspoon of salt and one-fourth teaspoon of baking soda, okay? Baking soda is a source of bicarbonate. And it's just a way of kind of buffering the water and making it gentle on your, um, on your nose. I happen to use tap water. If you have distilled water, you can use that. Um, I always boil my water just to make sure that it um, kills anything that might be in the water. Um, this boiled water is a great way to go. If you have you know, nice distilled clean water, you could also use that. But water source is important, um, but I just like to boil it just to be safe. Um, make sure that water is the right temperature before you put it up there in your nose, okay? Any questions, let me know. I'll talk to you later.